Gilmore, he's uh, working well in attack so far. Short ball off Aaron Hellemeyer. OK, ball out, and it's... Well, it came from nothing. Vikings, short side attack. Good kick through from Chris Nanenu, and, uh, well, it seems to have been taken. Collects and finds Gilmore. A neat little kick. Charlie Runciman needs to find the ball. He does, and Sam Wilde has picked up the scraps, and Sam Wilde will score. Jeremiah almost forgot he had to pick the ball up there, but he did eventually. Now it's with Mellet. Finds Christine, loads of space outside for Inu, finds Stefan Marsh, who waltzes in. Deceptive pace, Gilmore drops off, Pasig Arvan, that used that the Vikings have used so many times, Pasig Arvan. As White looks left and passes right to Inu, a little chip forward, he's going to gather this again, beautiful pass to Stefan Marsh, what a great try from Witness. Lovely. So Stefan Marsh gingerly gets up from that play the ball, as Joe Meller makes a break down the right-hand side, he looks inside and now he puts a step on the fullback, and Joe Meller will cruise in against Wellington Wolves, that shape is important, runs him into the short side and he gets a pass out and witness finish off, it's Owen Buckley Danny Walker behind the play of the ball, Jordan Johnson playing in the halves again as he did against Wellington and that's great hands and Danny, uh, Danny Craven has got support on the outside, Stefan Mars goes in to go with self-preservation in games like this, especially being a friendly and already 50-0 but he did the right thing as Joe Mellis skips through the defence Passes it out to Tom Orbison. Made the comment of maybe trying to get his timing right, but with that many substitutions, it's so difficult to get any continuity in a game like this. But he has done. And another kick is not dealt with by Whitehaven. It's kicked on by Chapel Howe. Who's up for the score? I think it's Danny Walker.